Hey, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your mid check-in. This is not your love reading. This is your check-in from your monthly forecast that I posted in the beginning of the month. I'm just going to do a check-in. So this reading is going to just, you know, um, have a general energy. So I'm going to see where your energy is at for the... Um, for the rest of the month, I'm going to look into career, finances, and I'm going to pull a package card and probably end it with a spirit message. Alrighty, guys. So let's hop in. Let it be great, of course. If I resonate with you guys, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. Um, very quickly, fire signs, the goddess box. It is almost sold out. I do, I think I have like 20 left. I only have like 100 to begin with. So they're selling out. Um, if you guys want more information, it's going to be posted in the comments below. Or you guys can always go in the community tab or on Facebook or IG. All right. So this is like the goddess box very quickly. Just so you guys can see it. Um, but again, there's more info um, below or on the community tab. Alrighty guys, so let's hop in fire signs. Let's see what's going on with you guys from now on to the end of the month. Does April have 31 days? Let me see. Let me look at my calendar. No, 30 days. So let's see your energy from today, the 13th to the 30th. Fire signs, April 13th to the 30th. Alright, let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see where your energy is after this week going into the end of the month. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see what energy is around my fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What is your overall energy from now until the end of the month? Let's see. We have love abounds. So love is all around you guys, number one. So this is good. So you guys have a lot of love around you. A lot of loving energy. Love could be coming into your life. I know this is not a love reading, but love can be coming into your life. Or there's just a lot of love and support around you guys. So that's good. Loving that. I love how the like the third eye is kind of like inside the heart, it looks like. So it's like you guys feel connected to someone. There's a deep connection that you have between you and someone. Like you and someone have like a deep connection. There's a lot of love and a lot of support around you guys. Let's see. Two more cards. We have helpless and hopeless. So no, Leo, what's going on? Um, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. We have number eight. So I feel like you guys are going through something or were going through something because we have love abounds and we have helpless and hopeless. And I feel like you guys were in a situation and you guys were just like, damn, what am I going to do about it? I need help. I need guidance. I need support. How can I figure this out? And there's a loving person or a supportive person or there's just a lot of love and support around you. So if you are feeling hopeless or feeling helpless, it's like you have love and support there. All right. Um, let's pull one more card. Let's see what's going on. One more card for my fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We have healing begins. Yeah. So I feel like you guys are coming. Okay. Because it looks like this person is ready to walk away from a person, place, or thing. Or like some type of situation. Something that has been bothering you, troubling you for some time. Because right here we have feeling, feeling alone. And I don't feel like you feel alone, Leo. I feel like you feel alone in this situation. Because I feel like even if there's love around you, it's like... Um, Leo Aries, sorry, Sagittarius, sorry, I don't know why I keep saying Leo. Maybe I'm talking to a lot of you Leos. But Leo Aries and Sagittarius, I do apologize. It's like you guys feel alone in a situation, but you're not alone. It's like it could be something personal. It can be like a family issue, something with your children, or something you just don't want to share, or something that you may just not be really ready to talk about or be open about, you know? And I feel like you kind of feel alone in it. And you kind of feel hopeless and helpless. You're like, damn, what do I do? I feel stuck. I feel lost, but you're about to heal the situation. You're about to like let it go and allow healing to come in. Whatever this is about, you're about to heal it and look, see, control. It was a situation that you felt like you had no control in, but you have control now because you're walking away from the energy of not feeling alone, okay? And you're like, you know what? I have love. I have support. I have people around me. I have people that can help me get through this, guide me. You're like, let me heal this situation so that I can move forward. So whatever this is, I don't feel like it's an energy that's going to last too much longer. But whatever it was or whatever this is, you kind of felt as if it was just not in your control. You felt like you had no control over the situation. All right. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with the uh, fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. 
Uh oh. Actually, let's use this set. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Let's see how you guys felt alone. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Let's see. Why do you guys feel alone? Or why did you guys feel alone? Why are you guys feeling alone? Let's see what this is about. All right, let's see. We have the Page of Wands, Reverse, Seven of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, it could have been like a, ch a child situation. Okay? Or it's like with the Page of Wands, Reverse, it could be like you just tired, you got tired of being upset, going off, being mad about something. All right? You kind of felt alone in this situation. And with the Seven of Pentacles here, it's kind of like, for some of you guys, because there's two people on the Seven of Pentacles, for some of you guys, you could have thought or felt as if there was like someone against you or people were teaming up on you. Okay, or like it was just your side versus their side or whatever this was. See, four of cups. You did feel alone in this situation. You're like, damn, what am I going to do? Is anyone hearing me out? Does anyone understand how I feel? Okay, so let's see why hopeless and helpless is here. Let's see, hopeless and helpless. See, the seven of cups, a lot of confusion. Okay, there could have been a Scorpio involved, but a lot of confusion. Eight of swords, something how you confused, feel lost, stuck, trapped in your thoughts. You could have just been thinking very negative. Negative, the hey man is here, what do I do? How do I handle this situation? How can I handle it differently? Is what I'm also getting, all right? So I just feel like whatever this is, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is coming to an ending, okay? Um, by the end of the month, I feel like you guys would definitely, like, it will be resolved, whatever this is, all right? So... let's look into your finances and your career really quick and then i'll see where you guys are blocked at and then we'll pull a spirit message and that would be your um, mid check-in all right guys so let's see finances for my fire signs i'm here in lump sum i don't know let's see wow yeah money's gonna be looking good from now to the end of the month look wow nine of pentacles ten of cups you guys are waiting for something to come. You're waiting for a text, an email. You're waiting for a letter. You're waiting for a mail. You're waiting for something to come in. And it's putting you in the nine of pentacles. Energy are, this can just be like your email going off, your phone going off, a lot of alerts, messages with the page of swords here. Okay, this can also be somebody like watching you guys. But you guys are really happy. Your home life is happy. People around you are happy. Children are happy. So you have a lot of um, people around you. Yeah, look, page of swords. You guys may have a couple people watching you. Um, I think this came up in the daily on the weekend. I was saying some of you guys have somebody watching you, like watching your moves, what you're doing. Okay, for some of you guys, not all of you guys. But let's see how the page of swords is here twice. The tower. Mm. The six of pentacles. Also, I feel like with your finances... Someone's trying to figure out how you can handle it, like how you're handling it by yourself, like how you're doing it all. Because the tower could just be like an upheaval. It can be like where like you just got a lot going on, okay? It can just be like a lot going on in your house, your environment, something like that. But we have the six of pentacles. So it's like you guys can just have like different streams of income coming in, money coming in. But it's like someone is just trying to figure out or understand how you can manage and handle it all and do it all by yourself. And you're coming up as a nine of pentacles, very independent, beautiful, single, wealthy, okay, in control of your finances. So that looks good. Yeah, with the magician, because you're making shit happen. So you tell them that your pockets are full of energy, okay? Tell them that your pockets are on energy. Meaning like you're like you're abundant, you're a manifester. You make money. You know how to make money. Some of you guys just have a hustle mentality. Okay, you're really good at hustling and you know, making money, making moves. Is you know, that's how I look at the nine of pentacles sometimes because it took time to get there. Nine of Pentacles doesn't come easy. Okay, so some of you guys could have like multiple streams of income, stuff like that. So let's see how the Ten of Cups is here. Uh oh, you guys want to take cards off the ground? Let's see, Ten of Cups. So your finances are looking good. Three of Bonds, look, money's coming in, ships are coming in. Okay, and I'm loving this. Saturn's there, so um, you guys just got a little karmic cycle for some of you guys with your finances. You guys could have been like in a karmic lesson with your finances. But you're coming out of that. Things are moving forward and fast. Not of swords is there. A lot of action being taken. So money is definitely coming in. This can be like a direct deposit from a bank. Three of Pentacles alone are like a lump sum of money being deposited into your account. 
Are you guys applying for a loan and instantly getting approved? This can be like you getting approved for like apartment, a house, a car, stuff like that. All right. So finances and stuff are looking good. Let's look into your career really quick. We have the six of wands, two of swords, and then we have it with the eight of swords. So you guys, it's not like you guys are wanting attention with the six of wands, but I feel like for some of you guys, you work really hard. And with the two of swords, you're just not sure where you're headed. Okay. And that eight of swords is there. So I feel like at times you guys do think negative. You're in your head. All right. You're trying not to. For some of you guys, I feel. But the six of wands is telling me that people do look up to you. People do, you know, appreciate you, value you, respect you. We got six of wands. See, king of cups. People love you. All right. Even if it's at your job, they may not say it. They may not tell you. But they see that, you know, they see what you're doing. They see the energy that you're putting into your work. All right. Um, I feel like. It's probably opposite for you, fire signs. I feel like a lot of people do look at you and pay attention to you. And they see the things that you're doing, the moves that you're making. And not saying they want to be like you, but I feel like they want to kind of be in your shoes and your position. But you may look at it as like, you know, like you may feel like you're just not getting the, the praise, the recognition, and the appreciation that you should be getting. All right? So, Knight of Swords came out in reverse. It's telling you, like, get out of your head. All right? Maybe you're just overthinking it. Maybe you're just thinking too hard. All right? Um, let's see how this Two of Swords is here justice all right so i love justice here because things are about to balance out if you're in your head about something if you're thinking negative it's like you're about to gain clarity the truth's coming in things are about to balance out this is also karmic justice and i love this because i've seen this um saturn here with the three of wands so like it's like you're about to get justice you're for some of you guys you guys are like it's not that you're about to blow up but you're about to get a lot of attention it's like the light is like the, um, the limelight is like on you. You guys are about to be excited, happy. You're getting justice. You're like you're just excited. You know, Ten of Pentacles is here. Money is looking good. Okay, Four of Swords is in reverse, so that also looks good. Waking up, realizing something, stepping back into the world, being you. Okay, not saying that you guys weren't, but just a lot of justice, a lot of freedom, a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment around you guys. Okay, and you guys are headed down a new path, new journey with the Fool. Okay. So, love it. New beginnings coming in. All right. So, closing old doors, opening up new doors. Let's um, put your blockage. Let's see where you guys are blocked at from now until the end of the month. And then I'm going to pull a, um, it's called Angels in Your Biz Oracle Cards by Emily Aarons. I'm going to pull a card from this deck. Love these. And I'll pull a message for you guys. And then that will be a reading. I'm not extending this reading. This is just a mid check in. All right. Right, let's see where my fire signs block that from now until the end of the month. Very deal, Sagittarius. We have surrender. So we saw that in the beginning in your general message. Remember, I said there's something that is just out of your control. You guys need to let it go. Okay. So it says, I I can release my need to control. Remember, I told you something was just not going your way. Something was just it was just out of your control. We didn't know what to do, how to go about it, and that's what you guys are going to do from now until the end of the month. You're just going to surrender. Let it go. At the bottom, we have worry. So you guys were worried way too much. And it probably wasn't even worth it. But I don't know because I know everyone's situation is different. Look who's at the bottom of the deck. Then I say you guys are coming out of a karmic completion. So you guys are wrapping up a lot of things karmically. Whether it's in your career, finances, home life, love life, whatever. Okay? So let's see. Surrender is here. For you fire signs. Why you guys block with surrender? Two so came out. Let's see. We have manifestation and we have moderation. See, so it takes time. For some of you guys, you're wondering why something is taking so long with moderation. I don't look at that as like your diet, stuff like that. For some of you guys, you guys do need to change your diet. And as you guys change your diet, eat better, drink better, um, exercise and stuff like that, then you guys are going to be manifesting more, more abundance and stuff is going to be coming in for you. For some of you guys, you guys are trying to manifest something and with moderation, it was taking its time. And you're just like, why is it taking me so long to get where I want to be? Why does it take Why is it take me so long to get this raise, this promotion, love into my life, whatever it is? And it was taking forever. But now it's finally coming. Okay? It's finally coming. It's like the universe is, you know, blessing you in moderation. Like, it was, the universe was blessing you, but just not giving it all to you at once. And now, you're releasing this energy, and things are going to be a lot better. All right, let's see. Dissipating. Yep, see, it's going away. 
you guys are coming out of like some sadness, some depression for some of you guys. Maybe just worried, anxiety. All right, let's see. We have soulmate. For some of you guys, it could have been in a soulmate connection. Or you guys have a soulmate on your mind. Or you guys are just in a karmic soulmate, um, you know, relationship cycle. And that period is ending. And it's like now that you're coming out of that cycle and ending that relationship or, you know, like no longer worried about that person or that person's on your mind. Now you can start manifesting more. Now your abundance is coming in. Now things are changing. Isolation is like being to yourself. Okay. Maybe you guys need to isolate yourself and be yourself so you guys can think. Okay. And start showing and expressing more gratitude to the universe. Let them know how grateful and appreciative you are with gratitude. All right. So let's pull your... Angels in your biggest oracle. Let's see. Angels in your biggest oracle. Let's see. For my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have guardian angels. Infinite support is here. Did I tell you guys? Love is all around you guys. So let's see. Number 39. Uh oh. All right, I'm going to hold the card up and read it. So it says, Guardian Angels, infinite support is here. You've been working so hard. When you pull this card, a hundred Guardian Angels appear around. Allow them to... Oh, wait. Allow... Okay. So allow them to step in and to release your anxiety, worry, doubt, and stress. Take a deep breath and know that you are taken care of today and every day. Even though they are invisible, your guardian angels are always here to surround you and infuse you with unconditional love, all right? And that can be what the love abound card means as well. Maybe you guys just have a lot of love around you. It can be your angels. It can be your ancestors, your spirit guides, whoever you guys believe in spiritually, whoever you guys call upon, okay? So you guys are protected. You guys have a lot of love and a lot of support around you guys, all right, fire signs? So that is your man. Check in. I love you all, all righty? Um, I'm not extending this reading. This was just a check-in. And I'll see you guys um, later on this week when I do a daily and when I upload your love reading. Alrighty? I love you guys. Bye.